Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Business Process Modeler, also known as BPM tool in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. I've written down some points up here. First, you can define and upload your business processes according to your organization need on BPM in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. Second, you can create uh, process documents step by step once you upload it on uh, BPM, your pro, uh, business process, you can look into uh, workflow, you can look into step-by-step -step process, you can look into your uh, uh, video that you have created uh, during the recording. All the recording you can access on uh, Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. Also, you can import Microsoft libraries into your My, My Library, which I'll show you in a second. And then after that, let's say that you have imported Microsoft libraries and there are some processes you do different than what Microsoft has put on uh, their library, you can add it existing business process library after you import Microsoft libraries into your My Library. So let's go ahead and look into the tool. I went to uh, lcsdynamics.com uh, and I signed in and uh, I have uh, assigned a project um, and my project name is Dynamics uh, Demo. So I'm going to use uh, this project, particular project and going to show you the particular tool. In order to get to the uh, BPM tool, there are two options you could do that. One is that uh, you can look right here in tool section, the business process modeler, which is right here or you can click on down arrow right here and go to business process modeler. All right, this uh, business process modeler has three sections. One is my library. This is the library that you create your own uh, private library and you upload your business processes up there. Once you're done with your uh, business processes and you wanted to share that particular my library with other folks in your organization, you need to make that particular library into corporate library once corporate library, when, once your my library is approved, whatever the name, uh, in my case, is a system user setup library. If uh, I wanted to make it to corporate library, this needs to be approved in order to move it into corporate library, and then every user on uh, in my organization on Lifecycle Services can access that particular library. And here are some global libraries provided by Microsoft. We have APQC, we have APQC X uh, 2012 R3 and professional services, retail industry, discrete, discrete manufacturing, process manufacturing. So based on uh, uh, your organization need, you can basically get any of this library. You can copy this library. It has all the processes, business processes that Microsoft has put on there. You can copy that library, import into your My Library, and edit the particular process. So in this particular video, what we're going to do is um, go ahead and uh, import existing library of Microsoft up here, the libraries, into my library and edit an existing particular task. So we're going to go ahead and click, right click on the library that we wanted to import. Let's say we wanted to import this one. So we're going to go ahead and copy and you wanted to name it something different. Let's say I will say Tech Brothers underscore bpm underscore library so I'm going to go ahead and click OK as you can see that this particular library that is APQC from Microsoft has imported into my libraries so we're gonna go ahead into Tech Brothers underscore bpm library and see what is there Double click on that All right, so here we have some core business processes and we have some support business processes. If you notice right here, it says enter the edit mode to make any changes to the library tree. That means that if you go in support process and if you keep going and expanding that, let's say that this, mo this uh, particular process needs to be up here rather than over here, you can uh, get this particular process in edit mode which is right here and move this particular process right here and once you do that it's gonna save it and open this particular process up here as you can see that uh, it has given us workflow and it has given us process step by step up here 
and then after that if you look at here right here is the uh, recording section of this particular document so these three things that you get um, uh, uploading your process on my, uh, Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. Now I'm going to show you that may, maybe there are requirements up here. Let's say that this is your uh, this is Microsoft process, and you your process is create uh, create new benefit, and after that you need to send an approval or send an email. Let's say and uh, process eligibility event. You need to send email after that how you can do that in your particular organization you send an email but in Microsoft right here it's ended but we, how we can go ahead and edit that we're gonna go ahead and put an email up here and we're gonna go ahead and highlight this particular email section right here and you can go ahead and uh, fill all the information if you right here and click right click on and edit you can say send email this is the process name and you can put uh, up here attach any link to it Their flow we wanted it to after process the eligibility event happened we wanted it to send an email and then end so in order to edit that we have right here the arrow so we're gonna go ahead and place on top of the process the source process and once you do that it will give you an option from source to destination this is our destination so we're gonna go ahead and click on that since we don't need from here to here what we want is that the process should flow after sending email then the process should end so we're gonna go ahead and right click on this arrow and up here it says delete we're gonna go ahead and delete that and now this is our source and this is our destination so we're gonna grab the arrow again and place on our source and then we're gonna move it to our destination and if you take a look this is how it looks like if you wanted to add it after you're done editing you're gonna go ahead and save that right here is save everything will be saved if it is a gap you can place it you can call it a gap and then once you put it a gap then it'll uh, still need editing and once you're done everything then you can do the not a gap and then it'll become part of your workflow so we're gonna go ahead and save it and as you can see right here now it's part of our workflow so this is uh, you. This is how you edit um, existing workflow to make it the make it better for your own organization. So if we go back, this is the library that, that we Microsoft library we got. So you, we can go ahead and edit all the processes and make their processes up here because this will give us a, a base section to work with that you wanted to upload to the uh, to Microsoft uh, Dynamics Lifecycle Services you can go ahead and upload those videos up here keep in mind uh, in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services package you get all these three options properties step-by-step uh, -step process you get the video and you get the workflow up here in Visio if you upload your Visio this is very static it's only going to be a Visio diagram it wouldn't have any step-by-step -step process it wouldn't have any um, a video link to it however you still have an option to go ahead and up upload your Visio diagram up here I hope this video helps